All right, man. Sketchpad podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we talking about Planned Parenthood and the virginity isn't really a thing. It's a myth. This is what they say. And we're going to talk about it and we're going to come back. All right, man. Listen, man. We back. Sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey, man. If you feeling like you want to donate to the sketch pad, the links are right on the page. Cash app is right there. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. It really helps out because YouTube has demonetized our channel. Um, Some goofy stuff. We don't know, but... We're going to keep this thing rolling. The train is not going to stop. And it is what it is. So if we can earn your subscription a day, if you like our content, just, you know, subscribe and share this with your family. But this episode right here to me is something a little bit different. Um, And I want to talk about this because I think this is very important. So let's talk about it, man. Let's go. Virginity. What is it? And what's the big deal about losing it? Let me cut to the chase. Virginity is a completely made up concept. It's a term that was created simply to control and shame people, mainly women. Mm. A virgin is someone who. Where'd you find this at, man? Yo, I'm about to, yo, bro. I'm about to go in, bro. <laughs> you, oh, man. I'm just gonna let this go, and then we gonna talk about it. Let's let. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Never had sex, but it's not as simple as it seems. For mainly women, mm. a virgin is someone who's never had sex. But it's not as simple as it seems. For one thing, medically, virginity isn't a real thing. In some cultures, people place a lot of importance on the hymen, a thin, fleshy tissue located at the opening of your vagina, as a marker of virginity. But the status of your hymen doesn't actually mean anything. That's because having penis and vagina sex is not the only way a hymen can stretch open. It can happen by putting something in your vagina like a tampon or a finger, riding a bike, or doing sports. So you can't tell if someone's had sex by the way their hymen looks or feels. Another reason the idea of virginity is complete nonsense is that sex means different things to different people. Generally speaking, society tends to define sex in a very narrow way, penetration, penis into vagina. But where does that definition leave queer people or folks who can't or don't have penis and vagina sex and choose to have oral, anal, or another type of sex instead? And not everyone's first sexual experience is consensual, meaning that they were forced or pressured into having sex. There is also a double standard on who carries the burden of virginity Society puts pressure on men for not having sex at the exact same time they shame women for having it. Make it make sense. Either way, shame has no place in someone's personal decisions about sex. It's time to throw away the notion of losing your virginity. What if instead of losing something, we reframe it as gaining? Because the truth is, when we make our own decision to become sexually active, we aren't setting ourselves up to lose anything at all. We hope we are gaining things like intimacy, self-insight, pleasure, and empowerment. All of these myths around sex and virginity can be so hurtful and overwhelming. But here's the one truth you should remember. Sex is defined by one thing and one thing only, you. 
Maybe that's being fingered for the first time. Maybe it's having anal sex. Maybe it's having your first orgasm. Maybe it's masturbating for the first time or when you enthusiastically consent to sex. That's the beauty of your sexual journey. You're in charge and you can figure it out on your own terms. Choosing to have sex, when, what kind, where, who with, is something that only you get to define. <clears throat> there you have it, people. The bullshit. <laughs> <sighs> Mm -mm. Okay, man, look. This is a clear agenda that's going on here now. So let me get this right. Now, being a virgin is not a thing anymore. So now, now, so now being a virgin is like, there's no such thing as a virgin anymore. What kills me about this whole thing here, what she said, is she used that and not to talk about virginity. It was more on the lines of, let's push this agenda. Nobody cares about the virginity part because that's total nonsense. When you say that the, the opening of your, your vagina can be penetrated by you riding a bike or inserting a tampon. You know exactly what getting your virginity broke means, but you want to make it out to be whereas here's the thing. They want to make this whole thing where women don't need men for anything, even getting their virginity broken. Because that's basically what she's saying. Yeah. And let's be clear here. Get your fat ass in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> How are you giving me lessons on sex? I know that you're not having sex. And everything you're saying is because you're saying it because you're not getting it. And you're doing everything you said. How how are you giving me a lecture on sex when I know you are way out of shape and nobody's having sex with you? Well, maybe some guys are, but not nobody who really want to. I'm just being honest. Who want to lay next to that? Let's be clear here. I don't care if people get mad or not. Who wants to lay next to that? Especially with that type of rhetoric. You telling me that virginity isn't a real thing. Wh wh where did this come from? And it's always black women. Why are y'all doing this? Why are y'all black women doing this? I, you know what? I don't even know if you were a woman. You could have been a man. I don't know. I don't want to misgender you. But I don't know. But what's going on here? Y'all just go along with it, whatever you're telling y'all now. So virginity is not a thing no more. Now you can stick a tampon up in you and that's your virginity. Which totally contradicts what she's saying. <laughs> she's saying virginity doesn't exist. But then she, then she then she goes on and describe how you can lose your virginity without having virginity. <laughs> what? You lose your virginity by sitting on the bike. Sitting on a bike. And then say, well, there's different ways to lose your virginity and different ways for to be penetrated because they're trying to eliminate penetration. Mm -hmm. that's what it is 
They want to separate men and women. I'm listen, I'm just going to say this and I'm going to let you go. These people are evil. They want to separate men, women and child. They want women to date women. It's an agenda that they're pushing. They don't want men in the picture. White, black, Asian, it doesn't matter. Get that man the fuck out of here. We could do everything ourselves. Go ahead, man. Man, um, you basically said it all. You know what I mean? Um, the whole concept of trying to eliminate virginity and tell people, mainly women, that you don't need a man or you don't need this or you don't need that, that virginity is a myth. What? I, I'm not. Where did this come from? Like, how how did we come this far just, just to hear this bull crap? Just to hear this bull crap. Like, are you serious? Are you, is this woman really being serious? Is this a prank? Is this a skit? What What is it? I, I, I need to know because I never heard nothing like this before. You know what I'm saying? I never heard nothing like this before. This is this is something totally out of the realm for me. I never heard nothing like this before. So you want to eliminate virginity, right? So now what you telling what you telling people that want to be in a relationship is that oh yeah, I don't need the man. I could just go get my you know what and stick it between my legs. And boom, bam, I done lost my virginity. Or I done did this and I done did that. I don't need the man. Or peep this. This is a good one. Oh, I can still be with the man, but if we don't have any intimacy, I could just go do what I got to do with myself and then keep it moving. And I could still be with him. So this is where we come to, right? So, so, so this long order of things that that's being put together by a woman like her is basically downgrading the man. So what's going to happen is if this continues and people start to feed in more and more to this BS, what's going to happen is the population of people, mainly us, is going to start depleting. Nobody's going to want to have kids. Nobody's gonna want to have union. Nobody's gonna want to do nothing. That's what they want. Where do they find this stuff? Just another way of putting more division between all of us, and it's so it's so crazy to me that this chick would get on there and tell you that virginity isn't a real thing but then she goes on to describe how you can lose your virginity with other items besides a penis but you're not really losing your virginity though with the with the items though the only way you can lose your virginity is with proper intercourse with another that's what they're human. trying to eliminate because she basically saying that you don't need proper intercourse to lose your virginity. But then she goes on and says her, the whole premise of her argument was virginity isn't a real thing. But then she goes on to describe how you can lose your virginity without having intercourse. But you just said virginity wasn't a real thing. But you described how you can lose your virginity without having intercourse. <sighs> Oh. Do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? She's saying, yeah. then she goes on and says that uh, sexual sexual acts can be through the anal or through oral. But you, what, she, what they're really trying to do is eliminate man and woman having intercourse. Yeah. That's what they're, this is this whole thing is about. Because you're talking about anal, which is not natural sex. That's not natural. That's side pleasure or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But having anal, 
sex is not a natural thing. You don't supposed to stick your penis in a butthole. You don't. That's what waste come out at. How is that where you you don't supposed to you that's the the the, the, the poop come out of there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it is what it is. But the the vagina has things inside of there that is naturally made for a penis. Not yeah. a tampon. Not a, uh, a, a, a not a dildo. It's naturally made for a penis. So when you have proper intercourse, this is what they're trying to eliminate by telling you that well, you there's no such thing as virginity. But the way you lose your virginity. I don't know. I just think that they got these dumb these dumb women out here just just going off but i don't know man either way you gotta get out of here it's crazy man hey man look man sketch pad podcast we'll see y'all man peace bye it's crazy man oh.